Larry Holmes versus Jerry Cooney. And they talk about Jerry Cooney being the Irish White Hope. Speaking of Irish White Hopes, we have a guest on tonight who knows what it's like to be the Irish White Hope. Jerry Quarry, remember him? Twelve years ago, he fought Muhammad Ali for the heavyweight championship of the world. Also fought Joe Frazier. We'll take a look at Jerry Quarry in action. Find out what he's doing now and what he thinks of that big fight between Larry Holmes and Jerry Cooney. And also, we're going to be seeing a profile on Jerry Cooney, the man that a lot of people think will dethrone Larry Holmes as the heavyweight champion of the world coming up in June. And a little bit late, later on, we're going to be talking baseball. For the first one, KO from Bellflower, California, here is Jerry Quarry, the great Irish hope. Now, was that a stigma? Did, was that something that was attached to you for too long? Did you, did you wish you could lose that whole image of being the great white the, hope? The whole program started with media hype. It was, it was on the program of mine. Do you, did you believe in that? Did you believe no. that people were paying to see you because they wanted to uh, Everybody asked me, said, uh, you, they call you the White Hope. What do you think about it? And I said, I don't fight for any race, color, creed, or religion. I fight for Jerry Quarry. Now, you were only, what, 20 pounds over your fighting weight right I'm now? You're 20. looking pretty good. You got the follicles on the, on oh, the face well, there. Yeah. This, is my, this is my five day beard, right? <laughs> Before the fight, no. Uh, I feel good. I'm about 20 pounds over my fighting weight, and I've been out of. For really for seven years. So. Jerry, let's talk a little about your career. You retired seven years ago, but you fought a lot of fights. You fought uh, over 60 fights. You fought Ali twice. You fought Frazier, what, twice? That's right. Uh, so you had quite a career. I, I'm not I'm not dissatisfied with it, you know, and one other thing about it, I got out of it at the right time. I quit two months prior to my 30th birthday, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm able to sit here and talk to you without uh, stuttering or stammering or what have you. Now that is one of the questions I wanted to bring up next. You listen to what Ali these days, and obviously it's a sad situation. A lot of these guys are going back into the ring for the money. What drives a man to risk life and limb, literally in the ring, for the cash? I mean, obviously it's, it's for the cash. money, that's part of it. <laughs> but what, it's got to be ego, too. I'll tell you, well, sure, it's a lot of ego. But uh, I'll tell you something, Roy. I'm 36 years old right now. But if a man offered me $8 million to go back into the ring, I'd be in the mountains tomorrow. <laughs> you don't, don't fool it around. I'm, no hey, I, I'm no fool. $8 million, that's just what Ali said. You know, for $8 million, hey, I, for $8 million, I'd fight the state of California, <laughs> one after the other. <laughs> Let's go back into your history a little bit. We know, or at least we know what we heard, that your father pushed you and your brother into the ring originally. You guys were football players. You didn't want to be a boxer. Because very honestly, I was a baseball player. Okay. And I was third baseman in the American Legion ball, and I wasn't a bad player. And uh, in fact, I hit 370 and 380 in two consecutive seasons playing ball. But I was a base I was a boxer. I had been boxing since I was three years of age. And by the time I was 16 years of age, I had 105 fights in the ring. Oh so I mean, it was it was preordained. I was a boxer. Let's take a look at one of those fights. This is Jerry Quarry in action. And who are you fighting in this one? You took him out in the first round, right? This is uh, Jack Waddell, the triple champion. He had just defeated Joe Bugner for the title. You weren't fooling around. Right from the opening bell, you were going after him. No, he was a southpaw, you know, a left-hander. And then, uh, so I knew right away, if you back a southpaw up, they can't fight. Now, and, uh, that, that's one I'm of doing. the things that we're going to talk about in a little bit with Jerry Tooney. He's a natural southpaw, but... Why is it that southpaws give everyone a, a lot of trouble? I mean, it, well, because you don't get to see that many of them. You know, how many times in your career do you meet a southpaw? Not very often at all, because, hey, everybody is twitches around. Boxing, all boxing trainers tell the guy that they're southpaw, they, they twitch them around and make them fight uh, orthodox style. Now, Jerry, tell us what's going to happen here. Well, I, he was throwing his, uh, his, his left hand, the left cross, and he was pulling it back low. Now I just caught him in the process of doing that. And right here, you'll see him, he'll throw an, uh, a left cross and I go over the top of it because he pulled it back low. Well, he was out, out for a while there, too. Did you hit him with a left hand? I hit him with the right hand. You hit him with the right hand? Right hand over his, his I didn't see straight right. left cross that he, when he threw Ooh. it straight out, he pulled it back and he pulled it back low. He didn't pull it's it back. the first time hand. I didn't see the one, the one that Well, they, they will show a little uh, slow motion of it if they, well, that's life in the big city. <laughs> Jerry, why was Jerry Quarry not the heavyweight champion of the world? Was it merely because of the presence of Frazier and Ali, or was there something perhaps that surprised you, maybe in your own in your own preparation for fighting? Was there one moment perhaps that could have made you the champion? That, that well, I, I summarized my entire boxing career in one paragraph. 
I said, boxing is a cruel and vicious sport. The more cruel it becomes, the more people enjoy it. I'm not an animal. I guess that's why I never became champion. You fought some that. I fought some animals, and a whole lot of times I had to fight like an animal, but uh, it's just not my makeup. Would you quickly compare Ali and Frazier? Oh, there's no comparison as far as abilities in certain ways. Ali was the best boxer that ever been, I've ever been in a ring with. Frazier was the toughest man I've ever met. And hmm. to compare them that way, they both had their different abilities. Frazier was as, as tough a fighter as I'd ever want to get in the ring with, and Ali was as smooth a fighter as I'd ever wanted to get in the ring with. Jerry Qualley, of course, is a fight analyst. Uh, he's done some fights recently on cable, and he wants to get back into doing some commentary for boxing. In just a few moments, he is going to analyze the upcoming Larry Holmes Jerry Cooney fight. Jerry Qualley on Jerry Cooney, right after maybe the chance where he could really make some money out of it if if he should knock out Howard Smith who's really rated 6 by ring